know why, but I have the strangest urge to watch Men in Black. What is that? Espresso. That brush was really shut it down. I know no joke. I know it sounds crazy and I said that in my last video, but it works and y'all saw that in that video. If you watched that video, if you didn't, go watch that video. Go watch it right now. Don't play with me. Go watch the video. Okay, so I'm gonna try to talk up as loud as I can because I have my dishwasher going and I don't want y'all to miss anything. Wait a minute, I'm missing something. I'm frying mine. Okay, now we're back in action. Okay, so I am going to do my current favorites, or my May favorites, I should say, and I wanted to do it in a different way. So I'm going to do it while applying it to my face. Because this is all makeup related. There are other stuff that I have been loving, but I'm going to touch on those at the end of the video after I have done my entire face. I'm going to try to make this relatively quick. I don't even got my brushes. Hold on, y'all. Okay, I am back and I have everything that I need in front of my face. I am really. So, like I was saying, I'm going to go through all of my current favorites, all of my main favorites, I should say. And uh, we just want to talk about it. We're going to talk about it. I'm going to let y'all know what I was feeling about it, how I was liking them, and all that good stuff. What I don't, what wasn't in my favorite, I'm going to let y'all know but it's just a product that I've been using because of the sole purpose of using it for the product, as a product, if that makes any sense. Like, I didn't have any setting powders that I love this month, but I have a setting powder that I use. So let's get started. Primer. I am using the Pro Grip Primer from e.l.f. Not a favorite, but it's a primer that I am using. I think I mentioned it in my last video. It reminds me of the... It reminds me of the Milk Hydro Grip Primer. But this one is a lot tackier in my opinion. I'm not saying that this one is better or worse or whatever the case may be. Just noticing the differences in between the two products because I have tried both products. Okay, there we go. For foundation, this is the fave. This is the Fenty Easy Drop Blur Skin Tint. I'm in the shade 21. I absolutely love this drawing. <sighs> Look at me, real Philly, right? Absolutely love this. Like it is hands down bomb.com. like two squirts on here. One, two. And that pretty much does it for me. And I am applying it with the Morphe E63 brush, which you would think is my favorite because uh, this is like the only brush that I use to apply foundation. Like literally the only brush. And the reason I love this foundation so much is because it just gives me like a really, really easy application. And it's like true to color, it's seamless, it's very, very easy to apply, it doesn't give me trouble, it's just, it's, it's just perfect. And it's the perfect match, like, you see what I mean? You see what I mean? Mm. Like it's just it's just really nice. It's not full coverage, but I think you could build it up to full coverage. 
which is what I think I'm gonna try to do today. Oop, I'm gonna grab a band pop. I'm taking this hair out today. I'm gonna smell it really soon. And if you uh, let us see the buildability. And once again, I'm just going to be patting this on. Oop, yep, see? Built a bowl. I actually have three fancy products that are in my favorites this month. Can you believe it? I can. Cause fancy is what? Popping. All that. Banging. Cause she be doing the thing. I don't know why, but I have the strangest urge to watch men in black. What is that? Right? I knew it wasn't just me. I mean, look at my skin. Take it in, take it in. Take a, take a second, take it in. All right, next favorite is the Maybelline Superstay Active Wear 30 Hour Concealer in the shade 50. I have been loving this. I mean, But the crazy thing is, and I think I mentioned this in my last video also, I haven't used it with the foundation. Which I also enjoy. Wait, this pan. Also, my favorite. I'm gonna set that on set just a little bit. It's a cloudy day, so the sun is going like in and out, in and out. So I do apologize for the lighting, but I really wanted to sit in front of the um, a window and do this. And I'm using a brush today to just go ahead and diffuse all of that. I love this concealer because of the way it applies. I mean, look how natural that looks. I mean, what else can I say? Like, it is just, it applies beautifully. It feels like you have nothing on, and it looks seamless. Like, May the church say, Amen. It's an amazing drugstore concealer. Okay, so that is that. Next, Fenty Matte Stick in the shade Espresso. That brush was really shiny, y'all. Pendy Match Stick in the shade Espresso 05. Okay, let's put this out. And like I was saying, I love this con I was about to say concealer. I love this contour because of the way it blends out. It is so creamy. It melts into the skin when you're blending it out. It doesn't get really, really muddy or anything like that. It just keeps your skin looking super warm. And then, yeah, I don't know what else to say about it. It's just, it's just pretty. And then I'm just gonna go in with my foundation brush and clean up any lines of demarcation that may be present, especially on my forehead. That's where I notice the most lines of demarcation.
Alright. Item number three. I'm a Fancy Beauty product. This is their Pro Filter in Lavender 1. I know it sounds crazy and I said that in my last video, but it works and y'all saw that in that video. If you watched that video, if you didn't, go watch that video. Go watch it right now. Don't play with me. Go watch the video. Like, I don't remember the last time I bleached from my Laura, Trish, Laura, Laura Mercier or Hood Beauty. It's been a while. Since I started using this, I have not ever used it. And if anybody's wondering, it does have a slight smell to it, but it's definitely overpowering. Oh, she smells pretty good. so easy to apply like I feel like you just can't go like I'm even going back over top of it and it's like it's not look at that it blends out beautifully it's so fun to melt What's her name? And what? What's her name? I'm gonna go ahead with my L'Oreal Infallible 24 Hour Fresh Wear Foundation and Powder 20. I'm about to say 20. 335, 335 Copper and set the rest of my face that have not been set with that powder. This is not a favorite. I don't have a favorite powder currently, so that's where we at. Okay, now I'm gonna go ahead and I'm gonna set my contour with the Anastasia Beverly Hill Bronzing Powder or Powder Bronzer in the shade Mahogany. Mahogany. Okay, next favorite is this NYX Can't Stop Won't Stop Mattifying Powder in the shade Brightening Peach. And I'm going to use this under my eye and we are going to watch some magic happen in a second.
Do you see how this whole entire side of my face just got... Do you see that? Did you see that magic trick I just pulled? favorite blushes. This is the KVD Snapdragon blush. If you know me, you know this is my favorite. And I'm going back to it. I was a cream bronzer, cream blush fan for a sec. And I'm going back to powder. This is also a favorite. I don't know if I mentioned that. So where are we at? Setting spray. Favorite. This is the Charlotte Tilbury Airbrush Flawless, Flawless, Flawless Setting Spray. Party all night, stay all day. Setting spray. because it really does what it says it's going to do. It keeps your makeup in place all night and all day. Your makeup doesn't budge. It doesn't get into your crease lines. It stays where it's supposed to stay. It stays where you put it. And it, it just works magic. It really does. And it takes away all of that dusty, powderiness that you just apply to your face. And it makes you look really, really Overnight and stuff, you know. Here we go. Now the last thing I will do is I will take a little bit more of this and I'm gonna put it under my eye. Just to magnify it a little bit more. Not too much. mascara so I'm gonna go ahead and line my lips 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 and I am using the NYX suede lip liner in the shade club hopper I 
Cut my lips in just a little bit, just a little bit, just a little bit. And then I'm going in with the Maybelline lipstick in the shade 373 more from me. They look like the best. Here's a favorite. NYX um, Butter Gloss in Cinnamon Bun. No, Cinnamon Bun. You have that like, girl, you got all this pink and purple on. Oh, you putting brown on? Yes, I am. I sure not am. Stores of Cosmetics, my planners. So, this bad boy right here, this has my uh, five year planner in there, my gratitude journal, my um, wellness planner, my habit tracker, my monthly admin, and then my project and my vision board in here, my move boards in here. So this is more so of a passion planner, if you want to call it that. If you want to call it that. This is my passion planner. Those kind of, this kind of sets the tone for what my month is looking like, for what my year is looking like, and all that good stuff. This one on the other hand is my day to day, week to week planner has my the grind which is what I'm doing in a week it has two months in a row and my skincare routine in here it has lists it has a little journaling section for when I'm in certain meetings or when I'm in therapy and I want to write certain stuff down it has an inspiration board for when things hit me and I want to just quickly write them down like if I have inspiration for like a new item that I want to design or Whatever the case may be, I can quickly just jot it down and I have it here. Um, it has priority so I can prioritize my day down to the last T. Um, it also has stuff in here for like, like task delegation. delegation. Um, all for me, but you know, I can also turn to like a honey do list. <laughs> I haven't done one of those yet, but I can do that. And then it has like a purchase tracker, um, things that I'm purchasing because I don't even track those. And then that's about it. So those two together are knocking boots, kicking ass, and taking names. Besides that, knocking boots. I should have said that right. Knocking boots. Okay, that is the end of this video. My camera is dying. Let me know, bitch. You got to go. So, thank you for watching this video. I highly appreciate it. I hope you enjoyed this video. If you have tried any of the items that I have mentioned, let me know. Even if you have tried some of the items that I didn't name as my favorites, also let me know if you are enjoying using those. And I will see you in the next video. Bye, y'all. Yeah, I'm not going on now. It's okay. Leave me some comments down below. Leave them down below. Let us start some conversations. We never talk no more. It's like you don't even care about me. It's like you don't even care. 
If you don't, let me know. But if you do, let me know. Alright?